Hey everyone, welcome in a new update, my weekly show on customer experience, marketing and technology. Welcome in the new episode. Microsoft is making a switch in strategy in the field of uh, AR versus VR. Uh, Microsoft has been a leading player in the field of augmented reality with their HoloLens, which is a very impressive headset that they have. Uh, but now it became clear this week that they're also going to focus on VR. So they made a few acquisitions and they will launch a few of their own VR headsets. Um, does that make sense? Yes, I think so, because it's becoming more and more clear that AR probably going to be used through our smartphone. The smartphone is the best distribution uh, channel for augmented reality applications. Uh, and I'm not sure if every one of us will buy those crazy looking AR headsets uh, if we can use a smartphone. Um, augmented reality will probably be a bigger market than virtual reality, but virtual reality will be a very attractive market segment as well. So I think it makes sense that Microsoft is making that move now. A new phase in the battle between Amazon and Google. Um, there is a rumor that Google will produce a competitor of the Echo Show. An Echo Show is like an Amazon Echo, but then with a screen, so you can see products and you can see videos and you can see content. And now Google is making a device like that, where the virtual assistant, the personal assistant of Google, will be able to help you with all kind of small stuff. But next to that, you will also be able to look at YouTube videos, look at stuff. So they're going head to head in this, and it's really waiting for this new product to be released by Google pretty soon. This week, there was the big Google event, and they announced, among other things, the Pixel 2. Uh, which is a pretty fast uh, successor for the first Pixel phone, uh, which was a pretty good success. Uh, now Google claims that this phone will have an even better camera than the Pixel 1, which was a pretty awesome camera. Uh, they added some ER, AR features to it, uh, stickers. You can now leave stickers somewhere as a digital object in a, in a place. Uh, and again, just like with the Apple introduction of AR, you still see that this is at a very early stage. Uh, we're all dreaming about the magic stuff to happen, but what you can see is that the software and the hardware is probably not good enough yet to do all the really cool stuff that we want. So in the meanwhile, we'll have to do it with uh, stickers. And probably one of the creepier and scarier and also cool things that Google launched was the Google Clip, which is a very, very small device that is actually a camera and you can actually hook it up to almost anything, to your clothes, but also to a coffee machine, to a car, anything that you want and the machine uh, can take pictures and videos but it also can decide when it's an appropriate moment to take pictures by itself based on its self-learning capability so I can imagine a lot of people are gonna freak out with this I can imagine a lot of pranks will be pulled thanks to this and this is a new form of communication that is almost like an automated form of picture taking and video taking. Facebook and fake news remains an important topic and it remains an important challenge for the big platform um, and it became clear this week, uh, we had the big disaster in Las Vegas that happened where all those people got shot and hurt and, and got killed, unfortunately. Um, and again, there was a lot of fake news being shared on the Facebook platform. And since recently, Facebook has started with machine learning applications to uh, faster identify the sources of fake news and the fake news stories. And they did capture a lot of those stories but it was already too late they removed the original link but the news was spreading on the platform so this is a little bit a, a setback for the image of Facebook and this is something that they should fix as soon as possible because this is going to be a huge challenge for the next few years for them. The merger between Amazon and Whole Foods is bringing good results um, now you can buy Whole Foods products through Amazon and through Amazon Echo, of course, and the results are pretty promising. In the first week that they worked together, the additional sales for Whole Foods products, their own brands, was 1.6 million. Uh, then it slowed down a little bit because they didn't have enough supply to keep up with the demand of all the Amazon customers and now it's going up again. So this is very promising for Amazon to see how they can work together and how they can merge the powers of Whole Foods and Amazon.com. Walmart is starting with same day deliveries in New York City. Um, if you ask me, that was necessary because they have to compete with Amazon, of course. Uh, but on the other hand, it's also pretty late because Amazon is already doing this for a long time. And with their Prime members, they have about two thirds of the population connected to them and loyal to them. So good that Walmart is doing that. Probably a little bit too late. And the last item of this week is probably the coolest item of this week. Um, on the announcements of Google, there was something that slipped a little bit between the news, but it's probably the coolest thing they're gonna launch. It's the Pixel earbuds. And this is like science fiction coming true. This, uh, these are like little devices. You put them in your ear and then they instantly 
in real time translate everything that you hear in another language and, and someone that's talking to you in, in any of the 40 possible languages that they're working on and you can hear it in your own language. So this is like a new way of communication. They are working on that, they're gonna launch this and this is no longer science fiction. Uh, so imagine how hard it will become to motivate your children to, lead, to, to learn a foreign language because now it's gonna be fully automated, fully in real time and probably better than anything we can do ourselves. So guys, this was my weekly. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please share it with your friends and I see you again next week. Uh, next week, I'm going on an innovation tour uh, focusing on the future of retail and I'll be in New York and San Francisco. So I'll be filming from those cities. See you then. Bye-bye.